I remember when I was young, I used to play sports. I used to eat healthy, like, yeah, I'm eating healthy 80% of the time. And I even started working out in fifth, sixth grade. And, you know, I was doing these Chris Harry ab routines. And every time I remember doing them for 10 minutes and then going to the mirror and checking if I had abs. But every time I looked in that mirror, I was disappointed. All I ever saw was a skinny frame, small shoulders, but a big waist. You know, um, when you think about an aesthetic physique, how does it look like an upside down triangle, right? So, okay, what am I? Okay, it looks like that, right? It's like, it looks like this. Strong shoulders, small waist, just that powerful physique. But every time I looked, what did I see? Small shoulders and big waist. You know, I just stored fat, a lot of fat in my love handles, my waist, and I never looked good. My shoulders were always like skinny. My whole frame was always skinny, but like whatever flesh I had, it was just, it was just fat. You know, my, my, my chest sagged. My arms were just skinny, but like whatever like meat I had there, it was just like flabby flesh. And my belly was just rolling and my butt was like, <sighs> my physique never looked good. And you know, I even started working out. I was like working out for a solid two months. When I was in fifth grade, I was like, I saw nothing, nothing changed. And the, like at that point I realized, or I thought I realized that it doesn't matter what you do, the world will play out how it wants to play out. Like you have no say. You know, I thought I could not change anything. I thought, you know, this is just my genetics. Well, this is, this is just how it is, you know? I was so, so wrong because two months or no, 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 like three, four years later, my friend asked me to create a, like a workout regimen for him. I'm not working out, but he just asked me to create it. I think I was like saying that I, I was working out. I don't know, but he asked me to create it and, you know, we hop on like this call and, you know, I make this regimen for him. And then I realized I'm not even doing this. I'm not even, like I'm researching this and like finding like best exercise or whatever. And I'm not even doing any of this. And I'm telling my friend to do it. And I was like, I have to do this. You know, this is like one thing I'm gonna do. You know, I don't even care if it makes me look good. I know it won't look, I, I know it won't make me look good, but I just gotta do it for my friend, you know? So two months later, I've been doing this and you know, I take a picture with another friend and we post it on Instagram, right? And, you know, us shirtless. And what happens next is that someone else, another friend I have, told me that people, like other people, people I don't even know, like many, many people, older people than me, like not even my age, older than me, told her, that I look good, that I look ripped. And two months ago, what did I look like? Skinny fat kid, bigger waist than shoulders. I promise you that is when I realized, like, I'm telling you, I heard those words that this guy respects me. This guy said I'm shredded. I wasn't even, I didn't even look that good. I just remember hearing those words and I just like in my mind it was like I can change myself for the longest time it was always genetics it was all the world um I have the, the what what chances do I have that's like when it clicked for me it was like like not even just about like physique and my body but really my life my entire existence it's not in the world's hands. It's not because, oh, this is the cards I've been dealt. I get to play them. I get to change everything about me. That's when I realized it just clicked inside me. So that's why I want to tell you guys that you have a responsibility to yourself. Everything 
in your world is your fault. Every single thing in your world is your fault. If you're not where you want to be, it's your fault. It's not the world. It's not, oh, I didn't get my chance. It's your fault. But there's also nothing in your life that you cannot accomplish. I thought I would grow up and never be attractive. I would always look ugly. My body would just, like whenever I took off my shirt at the pool or something, it would never look good. No matter how many sports I played, no matter how, how much I tried, it would never look good. That's what I thought. I was wrong. You know, um, you have to try, you have to want it. But more than like wanting, you have to do the actions that will get you there. And you know what that is. But you have to understand that you will change. Everything in your life, every single aspect of who you are. You know, if you want to be a charismatic person, what do you have to do? You know, it's like search it up on YouTube. Like that's such a great resource. Read books on charisma, you know? Read articles, whatever it takes. Talk to people who you think are really good at that. You can change how you live. You can change the way you are and the way other people think about you. But the way to do that, the first thing that you have to do, essential, be before you even work on anything, you have to know what you're working on. You have to plan, you have to be specific. So when we were making this, <laughs> this, this regimen, this workout regimen, me and my friend, what do we write? We wrote, what do we want? That's, that's what we wrote. We just, what, what do we want? What we're making it on a Google Doc. What do we want? And like colon and then great physique. That's what we wrote. I was like, so that's what I want to do. And then how do I do it? That's how you have to do anything in your life. So the first thing that you have to do, get a piece of paper. Oh, I'm going to show you my goals. Get a piece of paper. You're going to write who you want to be in two years. Like the one I have on my wall is just my goals for this year. But it's specific goals. Okay, I'll read them out to you. So number one, I want to achieve the planche. Number two, muscle up. Number three, uh, front lever. Then it's, okay, create 500, um, make $500. Get five people on self-improvement. Read 12 like self-development books, like your good books that improve my mind, my, um, you know, finances, entrepreneurship, stuff like that. And then cold showers every single day. And I stick to that. Those are actionable things that I can do. You need to be specific. So first, what I want you to do, think about who you are. Think about who you want to be in two years. Who do you want to be, right? Who you want to be? I want to be a charismatic person. I want to have a girlfriend. I want to have, you know, t uh, 15 pounds more of muscle f or weigh 15 more pounds, but have this, have less fat than I have now. You know, create who you want to be in the future. I promise you, it is the key if you just write who you want to be. So then after that, put the things that you need to do. So that will be your goal. Don't put your goal as, I want to be a better person. Put your goal as, um, I want to gain 15 pounds of muscle. If we're talking about physique or your physical appearance. You have to write these actionable metrics that you can use every single day. Put it on your wall every single day. You can look at it like, this is what I'm going to do. This is what I have to look to achieve. So now you know who you want to be in the future, two years from now. You know what you need to do. That's your actionable metric. You have your goal. What's the next step? You have to relentlessly focus on achieving the goal. You have to wake up and think, how am I going to achieve this goal? You know, that's why I'm making YouTube. What's one of my goals? I want to get five people on self-development. What is my way of doing that? YouTube. Every day I go to sleep. I can, I'm editing these videos and then I go to sleep and just thinking about what can I do tomorrow? What What is the content I'm going to produce tomorrow? What am I going to um, talk about tomorrow? What am I going to speak to my to people who are just like me? Who are like me, maybe let's just say, you know, a year from where I am right now. That's the kind of person that I need to help. How do I help that kind of person get to where I am and even further? 
you have to think every single day you have to have these goals and think about nothing but that that is the only way you will ever be successful that is the only way you know you have this king inside of you but you have to take responsibility you have to say yeah this is what i have to do and you know whatever it takes i will do it you know so something that really helped me kind of keep going with that bulletproof mentality you know doing what i have to do no matter what i whatever i feel like is just telling yourself i am a warrior i am a warrior because war it doesn't matter what a warrior feels like he trains because he has to protect his nation he has to fight for his nation you are a warrior because you have to fight for yourself you have to fight for because you want to change yourself i know you're not perfect you have to change yourself be a better person I thought I couldn't change. I thought, you know, this is this is just what I got. But I was wrong. And when you change, the world changes for you. Every single time I'm doing a tough thing, you know, I'm going into a cold shower in the morning. I'm a warrior. I'm a warrior. You have to do these things that are hard for you, but now you know what to do. You know you can change. I promise you, you can change. I changed. I thought I could never change. You can change. You know you can change now. There's no going back. After you see this video, there's no more excuses. You know you could change. Everything that's, that happens after this point in your life, it's your fault. Like maybe before, maybe before, you just didn't know that you could change. But now you know. Everything that you want to be, you can achieve it. You can achieve it, okay? So just, you know what to do. Make your goals. I promise you just, so many people are not going to do this. If you're still watching this, take out a paper. It will help you beyond anything like no skill will help you more than just knowing what you want to do get your goal get who you want to be and then bulletproof your mind work towards that every single day and every time you face a challenge tell yourself i'm a warrior i am a warrior go out and conquer